This is a tutorial uh, video showing how XTCMS works with Zara Web Designer and, Des and Designer Pro 7, which is what I'll be using in this demonstration. Um, okay, so to show how the two of them work together, I'm going to take this gallery page here as an example. Um, basically, we're going to make some changes to it and show how we need to make the changes in both uh, pieces of software. Um, and how do you work together? So, okay, for quick example, we want to perhaps move this um, text. This is actually dynamic content that's served by the CMS. Um, so, what we what we will do is we're going to move this um, up to the top over the images instead down the bottom, and we're actually going to change the text in the CMS as well. So we'll change the text first okay so to do that we go into the uh, administration end of the CMS um, and what we're looking at here is categories which is over here in the menu if you click that it'll load and display all the categories in your website now a category can be just one static page or it can be used to house products or um, blog entries and things like that so it can actually you know encompass listings or it can just a static page so in this case it's just a static page it's our gallery page and um, which is there and what we want to do is modify that so we click on modify and in here we can edit the text in the description um, and do a lot of other stuff as well but I'll just quickly show you how this is done so uh, we'll quickly just copy this text and I'll paste it again and um, as a second paragraph now if I save this um, okay, it's modified, so we'll go back now. We can click this link, but I'm just going to open another tab I have here and refresh the page. So when I refresh that, you can see now we now have two paragraphs of text that have been added um, via the CMS. Now this is handy as if you know, um, not only for your own websites, but if you have client websites and you want to allow them to edit certain areas of the website without, you know getting into the layout and you know maybe screwing things up with um, giving them too much control of the design and um, so it's good for stuff like that um, okay so now we want to move it to the top so basically what we're doing now is we're not actually editing content we actually want to edit the layout so because this site is designed in Zara we'll go back to Zara to do that so I'm gonna go back to Zara and I have the page open here already and um, this rectangle represents the area where the page um, the dynam dynamic content uh, will be positioned. So basically it's just a simple matter of uh, grabbing these images, the gallery, and moving them down on the page. So we pop them there. Grabbing this dynamic placeholder and moving it above them. And simply just publishing this now. This will upload it into the CMS and the CMS will um, modify the exported uh, pages from Zara so that they're compatible. So if I now refresh this page in the browser again, you can see that you know it's all uh, done pretty quickly, pretty easily.